Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Johnny Test, set of eight awesome looking toys released by McDonald's back in 2011. Now this was a European release set that I had shipped in many years ago. So let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set, we have Johnny's Wind Powered Vortex, and there is a little bit of an assembly to do with this toy. And it came with this little mini booklet of instructions, so let's open this up and have a peek. And it reads, Blow the top of your wind powered vortex and watch the little balls travel up the spiral. The faster you blow, the faster they go. And then it reads, Did you know? When a wind turbine spins, huge rotor blades create motion in the gearbox, which drives the generator. The result is electricity. And of course, there's more here on the back. Try the Vortex Challenge. Using your wind-powered Vortex, challenge your friends to see who can raise the most balls within a minute. You'll need someone to count the balls, someone to watch the time. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. So you can see there's a couple little balls in there. It looks like there's like a blue and a red ball in there. And then you have the other part of the wind vortex, which attaches to the top right here. And this is actually what spins like that. And then you're supposed to blow on it. And it also came with a little sheet of stickers. So I did apply a few of the stickers. As you can see right here, there's stickers there at the bottom right there and then some like hazard signs right there on the little windmill part. And then the rest I suppose you can just use for decoration and place these wherever you'd like. You can put them on here or whatever. And so how this works, let me show you this. So you spin this around like this and you're supposed to blow on it. And if you look inside here closely, let me spin this around here. You can see the little balls up there. And as they spin around, like <laughs> I'm trying to get it, come on. It's like staticky, there we go. And you can see as this spins, it grabs the ball and then pulls it back up to the top. It's kind of ingenious actually. But the problem with this particular tour, maybe it's just mine, is that it's like they're, they're like statically clinged in there, like static cling or something. So if you spin it one way, it makes them go down. But if you blow it this way, they come up and you can see they're kind of like, kind of just stay in there because <laughs> of the static. So let's see if we can just shake them up. I don't know how you would get, get the static out of this. Like, does anybody know how I could like maybe put a magnet or a bat or like, what do you do to remove static from something like this? I have no idea, but I'm trying to get them. <laughs> there we go. So as you spin this, you can see the balls go up and down and then they're supposed to come back down and around. There we go. It's kind of working. It's like a little spiral staircase and then it's supposed to just keep the thing going you're supposed to blow on this and make it spin i don't know it's kind of wonky i get the idea but the problem is with the static in there it's keeping the balls from actually spinning loose they're just kind of like wobbling there <laughs> it's kind of awesome i get it it's kind of awesome but it doesn't function because of like mother nature <laughs> i don't know so anyway there you go it's Johnny's Wind Powered Vortex. The next one up is called Susan's Gyro Spinner. And you can see there is Susan right there. So let's open up this little booklet and read what's inside. It reads, can you see how the green liquid separates into blue and yellow when your gyro spinner spins? It's because the blue liquid is heavier than the yellow liquid and gets forced to the edges. Then it reads, pilots use gyroscopic technology to position an aircraft so that it is level with the horizon. That's very cool. On the back it reads, spinning around. Your gyro spinner works just like a washing machine. When it spins, the clothes get flung to the sides of the drum so the water can drain away. Right, so okay, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. So we also have a sheet of stickers with this toy and you can see there is some like green and black ones here and a yellow and black here. So I suppose you can use the different stickers to decorate your little toy here or just decorate whatever you'd like. And so it comes with a little rip cord right here. And if you look at the top of the gyro spinner, there's a little arrow and then you place this in just like this. Let's see if we can get this lined up in there. And there we go. And you can see the little goopy greenish type gel and water mix. You can see it's like all, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a mix of goo and water. <laughs> I don't know if you can take this and then you spin it like so. And watch this. I'm just going to do it. You ready? Here we go. 
Look at that. And it does make it kind of look bluish, maybe a yellow blue. Is that even a color? Blue, yellow? I don't know. <laughs> you can see it in there. And I think it's kind of neat, actually. So let's see. Let's do this again, and let's see if we can actually get it to spin. You ready? Here we go. And look at this. Yes! <laughs> That's great. Oh, they just don't make toys like they used to, I'll tell you. This is a good one. I like this one. This one is a lot of fun. Here we go. It's going to stop. And done. <laughs> oh, this is a complete win. Look at this thing. A little gooey, goopy liquid in there. <laughs> it's a ripcord. I don't know. I just find this stuff fascinating. So there you go. It's Susan's Gyro Spinner. The next one up in the set is Mary's Mirror Morpher. Well, that's a tongue twister. Mary's Mirror Morpher. And here's the little instruction booklet. So let's read how it works. A concave mirror curves inwards and a convex mirror curves outwards. Can you use the convex mirror in your mirror morpher to transform the distorted pictures of Johnny? And then it says, Does, did you know convex mirrors are used in car wing mirrors to help drivers see things behind them. So you can see this little picture of the side view mirrors that you see on the side of your, your cars. And if you remember, if you look close enough on there, you'll read sometimes objects appear closer than they usually are. So you'll see that on the little mirrors there. And it reads this on the back. Try this at home. Look at yourself in the back of a spoon. How do you look when you bring it close to your face? What happens when you turn the spoon around? Yes, so get yourself a little silver spoon and take a look at it and then kind of like move it back and forth and then flip it over. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I love physics. So here's a little instruction sheet that shows you what you're supposed to do. So you place the morpher toy on top of the distorted paper. And so let me show you this. So there is Johnny Test right there. And it looks like he's got his foot, like he's doing a karate kick. And on this side, it looks all distorted and wonky looking. But it's got Johnny Test and his little dog pal there and you're supposed to take this and place this on here like so and then spin it because at the top of this it's like a mirror right here and at the top you spin it right here so look at this oh look at that you can kind of see me in there <laughs> it's like a there you go it's kind of like a face reveal of sorts and you just spin it like this so you know what we need to do we need to take this place this on here and then we need to do a little bit of a different angle. So let's see if we can position ourselves to get a little closer and have a better look. So now we're going to take a look at this at this close-up angle. And you can see it's all distorted right through here. So let's zoom in a scooch here. And then we'll spin this at the top. And now we got the flat side of the mirror facing out. And then we'll spin it here. And now you can see it's kind of like bringing it into focus a little bit, I guess. Let's zoom in there. So you can kind of see what's happening here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually working the way they intended it to, but it is kind of funny. I mean, it is fun to mess with. Let's keep spinning this and get back to the flat side here. Here we go. So now it's all distorted, and then we spin it again. And then look at this. So, you know, <laughs> let's move it around a little bit. It's kind of like a funhouse mirror thing. So let's flip this over and do it like this on this side with the karate kicking little Johnny test. And there you go. So now you can see his big foot stick it out. And then we'll, we'll spin it back to the flat side. And there we go. So you can see it's kind of distorted. And then we spin it a little bit. And now you can kind of like make it out a little bit better. Kind of like move it, rock it back and forth. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Let me, let me pan back here a little bit. And now you can see how he's got this big distorted foot right here. And then in the mirror, it makes it like you can even see my fingers in there. It's all. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. It's messing with my eyeballs. Anyway, there you go. It's Mary's Mirror Morpher. Next up, we have Johnny's Super Sight Periscope. We have this little booklet. Let's give it a read. We'll open it up and how it works. There are two mirror panels inside your periscope. These reflect the light and can help you look around corners or over walls. Did you know submarines use periscopes so sailors can see above the surface of the water? Then on the back it reads, 
Super Spy. Keep an eye on things without being seen. Extend your periscope to different lengths and test out how far you can see. Very cool. So here is the periscope, and you can see it extends right here and right there. So it's like a double extension. Kind of neat. And then here is a little cardboard cutout, a little standy of Johnny Test that you can use to spy. May I know, spy on Johnny Test, I guess. And so how this works is there's a little panel on the side that shows you what's going on inside here. It's kind of neat. I like that they did this. So there's a little mirror right there. So whatever you see through this is reflected onto this mirror. And then inside, it reflects back to your little eyeball right here with another mirror. And then we place this panel right back on here. This is kind of cool. I like this one actually opens up and lets you see how it actually functions, which is kind of neat. Come on, get in there. There we go. And so basically, it's pretty simple. You just point this at whatever you want to see, like over a wall. And we'll use Johnny Test here. And you can see right there. So if I hold Johnny Test, so you can see my hand is right here level with the camera. But if I move it away, see how much higher my right hand is? So it's about five or six inches higher. So here it is here. And then you bring it up. And then you can see it. Look at this kind of cool stuff and then it even demonstrates that it shows you how it works on the instructions as well right there so there's a little wall you can look over and above a wall and see what's on the other side without anybody seeing you awesome right so there you go it's johnny's super sight periscope next we have susan's micro world viewer so it's a microscope which is kind of cool so let's open this up and give it a read how it works your micro world viewer uses a lens and natural light to make objects bigger so you can see more detail. Did you know the word microscope comes from the Greek words micro meaning small and scope meaning to see? Interesting fact. Try this at home. Take out the micro world viewer disc and pop in a small flower or leaf. You'll be amazed at the detail you can see. So it's telling you to actually go outside and get something outside that'll slide in there. So we got a few pieces here. And how this works is you got the eyepiece. So there's where you look into. And you pop this in right here, like so. So now it's attached and pegged in. Then you have this little tray. So you pull this out like this. And it's for these little discs right here. So you can see there's a bunch of different items on there. There's a leaf and a goldfish, a bird, a strawberry, insects, and this one has a few other things. It has a clock, a knot, <laughs> a knot, uh, a pants. What is that? Is that like a little ring, a diamond ring? So what you do is you take one of these and you bring this to here. You pull this little clear plastic bit off. You slide the paper ring inside like so. Come on, get in there. There we go. It's a tight fit, but I think we can get it. Then you take this and tab this back in and fasten it in the place. And then you take this little tray and you slide it back in like so. Now you have your little your little lens right there. And it's like a little spring-loaded like knob. And a little lens pops up. Like it's gonna be hard to see with my camera. But basically, you can see inside a little bit. When you spin this, it actually brings the item closer so you can see what it is. And then you turn this, you can turn this little dial here and spin it to the next item, like so. See, now we got a strawberry and then I don't know how well you can see inside the eyepiece, but it's kind of dark in there. But if you had this in hand, like I can see it, but my camera, unfortunately, isn't picking it up. But you can spin this like so, and take a look at all the different little items on each little spot here, which I think is kind of cool. You know, I like this. And that's it. So there you go. It's Susan's Micro World Viewer. Next up, we have Mary's Optical Illusion Station, and I've been messing with this. It's kind of fun. So let's see what this reads. It reads, how it works. The quicker you rotate your optical illusion station, the easier you will see the two images merge into one. And did you know, when you can't see everything around you, your brain works out how to fill in the gaps. This is how an illusion works. And on the back it reads, amaze your eyes. Why not draw your own double-sided characters on a card and then pop them onto your optical illusion station? 
how well do your own pictures merge into one? So it's telling you, try to create your own optical illusion, which I think is awesome. So we got a couple pieces here. This tab's on, like a so. Get this lined up, push that on. And then there's a little button right here on the end. And that rotates that. So we will grab one of these here and place it on. And let's show you both sides. So there's one side, there's the other. And let's see what happens. Kind of cool. Now it looks like they're all three are in the same room together, kind of, sort of. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing that so fast, as hard as I can. All right, so here's another one. It looks like we got a little skateboard. And there's Johnny right there. So let's slide this in and tab it in. There we go. And let's give it a push. Oh, look at that. So now it looks like Johnny is actually riding his skateboard. That's actually pretty neat. I like this one. And we have another one here. This one has the little tabs we had to bend out, and it has a little bouncing ball, and it's little notches on there, so it's fitted right on. There we go. And then let's spin it and see what happens. Look at that. Let's spin it. Well, if you spin it too fast, it's hard to see it. So you don't need to push this one super fast like the other ones. Kind of just slow it down a little bit, and it looks like the ball is kind of just bouncing around. That's cool. I like that. That's neat. And then we have another one right here. And so if you get this, be careful with this one. You don't want to rip it because the tabs are kind of hard to fold on this. And again, it has the little notches. So we place it on like so. Let's see. We get it lined up and get in there. Can we get it? Kind of, sort of. <laughs> We're going to have to mess with it just a little bit. There we go. Kind of bend it into place a little bit and help it stay on this little platform. And I think we got it. All right. So let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Looks like he's spinning around and dancing. We got a dog dancing doggo. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. Can we do it like this? No, this is the best way to look at it. Like, like right there. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this thing. So there you go, everyone. It's Mary's Optical Illusion Station. Next, we have Johnny's Echo Chamber. <laughs> I got to tell you, this one's really silly. I've been messing with it a little bit, and it's making me giggle. So what does it read inside here? How it works. Inside the echo chamber is a spring that vibrates when you speak through it. This gives your voice an echo. Did you know? Big open spaces create the longest echoes. That's because there are less objects to absorb the sound. On the back it reads, try this at home. Look for different places to see where the best echo is. Stairs, large rooms work well. Okay, so stairwell in your living room, I guess. You could try yelling. Oh, this thing is so silly. It's making me giggle already just before I even mess with it. So you pull this piece out right here. You hear that? <laughs> that sounds awesome, right? So there's the little microphone part. You're supposed to speak into that. <laughs> and then you kind of just pull this out and then turn it, and it locks it into place. And then you talk into this end right here. All right, ready? We're just going to make some weird noises. Let's have some fun. Ready? Here we go. We're going to talk into this, and you can hear it. Echo. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> I amuse myself. It's such a silly toy. You can have lots of fun with this thing. It's like talking into it, mess with one of your dogs or something. See what kind of reaction you get running around your house talking and yelling, screaming into this thing. It's such a blast. Oh, this is a good one. Listen to this. I don't know. And that's it. So there you go. It's a Johnny's Echo Chamber. The last one in the set is called Dookie's Wind Force Generator. And let's see what it reads here. Inside, how it works. When your wind force generator catches the sails in just the right way, it will move forward. Yachts use wind in the same way to travel across the sea. Did you know, windmills also use the power of wind to turn big wheels. They often grind wheat for baking bread. And on the back it reads, feel the power of the wind. Feel how the wind blows your hair. It can be really powerful. <laughs>
powerful wind blowing your hair. How interesting. So what we have here is a couple of pieces that we had to put together. So you got like these windboard surfboard things and you tabbed in the little pieces of paper right here. Let me show you. So they just tab in like so. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken it off. What did I do? I had to leave it on there. All right. And then you have this one, which is Johnny and he's hanging out on his little green wind surfboard. Kind of neat. And so how this works is you have this wind up mechanism right here. This little handle just winds up and spins the fan in there and it creates a breeze and it's supposed to use the wind power generated from this thingy-mabob and it's supposed to blow the little wind surfboard things away. So I had an issue with this and I took it apart and I tried to fix it. There's a little gear in there that slips on a little metal pin and I tried gluing it so we're gonna give it a best shot here and see if it can actually work. So what you do is you turn it like this, and let's see, you can see the fan. Look at this, we got it to work. You can see the little fan in there spinning. All right, I think we have success. Let's see if we can get it going fast enough. <laughs> I can feel the air blowing out of this too. It's just trying to go as fast as I can. It's not working. What? I'm telling you, it's blowing a lot of wind. Oh, it got it to move a little bit. Come on. Here. <laughs> I can feel the wind blowing out of this. It's blowing back at me. It's coming out of there. This is pretty strong. It's actually blowing pretty strong. Let's see if we can reposition these like this. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, actually. I have a good time. All right, so let's try this again. You ready? Here we go. Let's get right up on them. <laughs> it doesn't work. And I'm telling you, trust me, if you get this and it works, you can feel how strong the wind is coming out of this. It's really strong. It's just not blowing these in there. Look at it, it's so easily, you can roll these real easy too. It's just not working. I don't get it. Right. <laughs> it's kind of silly. It's like, why isn't it working? I don't get it. Let's, let's just go. I don't understand. Oh, it kind of moved a little bit. Come on. <laughs> it's just not working. Oh man, so it made it move a little bit, but there's a lot of air coming out of this. This thing's really pumping out strong wind. Like it, I don't get it. They just don't want to move. I don't understand. Little wheels on there? <laughs> okay. It just don't like me, but that's okay. I don't mind. It's still a lot of fun to mess with. So there you go. It's Dookie's Wind Force Generator. And there you have it, everyone. Johnny Test set of eight awesome little McDonald's toys released back in 2011. I absolutely love this set. There's so much going on, so much playability, highly collectible. It's an absolute win and a must-have for any Happy Meal collector out there. And if you're a Johnny Test collector, you need this in your collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.